Yeah. You're building me something. Yeah. I'm going to do a paycheck. I'll take a speed. Spot for that? I uh, was thinking in the cabin, but no, no, it's perfect for actually in the sauna. All right. Yeah, sauna. Let's go try it out. I'm gonna get Doug to install it. Yeah, hang a towel, the stuff on there to dry. Going, guys? Hey, Dan. All right. That's like a dog fast over here. Did you bring a deck of cards? No. I did not. Okay, I know. Kyle, this way? Is it? Are you telling me to go this way? Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey. Hey.
Really, I love them. This this bear stuff was like better than the pork. It's uh. Reads and more people just like posting from the heart and authentic. Mmm. <laughs> this is yummy. It's funny because it was like uh, we talked about it in the movie Shawshank Redemption, and that's kind of like what ended up happening is the guy got his revenge at the end. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually like read that or was he like kept in a jail or something mm -hmm. for a long time? Mm -hmm. And then he became very wise and made this master master plan and became like a royalty almost and dealt with everybody accordingly. Oh yeah. Wasn't there another pile up here? This uh, more. or maybe There's we one over here. Okay, this yeah. This doesn't look too that's, bad. No, but. that's actually pliable. So. Yeah, just yeah, leaving it in the, it in like the shade and in the damp moisture. Almost. Yeah, the water cooling on it would help. So I yeah. say, I say we carry it back as we need it because where well, it is. I was just gonna say, it's pretty damp. Maybe we should bring it all no! here in the shallow, in the dark. The whole longhouse? No, all the all the piles and pile them all up, and then we. Try to get it some up on the roof, like that would be exciting, you know. The roof staying open somewhat, right? We don't have to make the full curl. No, it's going right over. Is it? I thought we were leaving like a smoke. Just no, we're like gonna make one. that's just a little squares. strip on the top. Yeah, it's a strip on the top. So yeah, the full length, though. The full length, but not it's full. not going. No, not full length. Just a little section above each fire. Yeah, so okay. we're not leaving a big strip all the way. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's like the width good. of one sheet, probably. Yeah. So do you guys want to like try to hang some of this stuff then today, or what do you think? If we don't, it's only going to get worse, the bark. Like it's well, going to get ruined. I, my concern is we're going to start, and then we're going to leave it again, and it's going to be there drying, and then we're going to redo it all. Well, I mean, this is not going to happen no matter, like as long as we don't tie it down. Well, if it sits times. here for another month. Whatever we do has got to be done on there fully. My concern is, is that if we don't do something with the bark, it'll all just be destroyed. Right? What do you like want to do? Honestly, as much as I like where it's piled in these low areas, I think if we leave them here, it's never going to get done. I think we should haul it all up. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it all up. Okay. Well done. And you're on the spot, too. Yeah. Well, going. Dude, they're everywhere. Every huh? piece you lift up. There's just salamanders. What is there, five under this piece? Yeah, two of them scurried off too.
Cool. Uh, so I thought it's maybe going to be a theme. We can only carry one at a time, eh? Yeah? Now we're doing it. getting a lot of salamanders. No. Under Tesla on every sheet there's like one of the under we flip one there's six under there. Really? Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh nice haul. Good strategy. Mender <laughs> time. Careful don't break it. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six. One, seven. two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in the eight. corner, there's one. Well, obviously, it must be pretty pliable still. Break one's back. Oh, that's a good looking one. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're just back at Sean's here in the swampy section where we harvested all that bark the last time. And we're just picking it up and bringing it back to the longhouse so we can start getting it on. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it's not too bad, but unfortunately, a lot of the bark, um, you know, was sitting. And so even though we lay it flat, it has dried a little bit and isn't as good condition as when we initially peeled it. Not a very big surprise. We left a lot of it in the uh, close to the water and around the moisture, so it's still pliable, uh, but those swamps dried out. So um, we're gonna work with what we have, but it's part of the challenge of working with these natural materials. Um, it's not like just leaving a stack of shingles somewhere, of course. So. Uh, but it's still in good shape, and so we're happy about that. And uh, we're going to start putting some up and uh, maybe get to some other projects. But um, looking forward to it. You should just strip the trees in one peel. Bang, bang. Short. <laughs> Why would you give us that? Why? What am I going to do with that? This is the one. hats off to the hold in a Sony, though. The hold in a Sony. Five inches, six inches? That means people of the longhouse. <laughs> Iroquois, <laughs> uh, the Iroquois <laughs> word for themselves. Yeah. Iroquois was actually a French yeah. word. Uh, well, it was actually a Huron word that was screwed up by the French. If I am bricks, I'd be going, mud! More <laughs> mud! That's how I was raised. <laughs>
are you doing? I don't know, but it's not easy. Oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, I'm trying to hold it in such a way. <laughs> Guys, there's the animosity off. amongst the crew. Let him start stop clowning around with we'll turn the back on. Yeah, Ted's just standing there while I'm breaking my back. You know, making fun of me. Now <laughs> Doug has made fun of Ted, and now Ted's making fun of me. It's a vicious circle, guys. <laughs> okay. The the, okay? the bully, the bullying. I'm gonna lap. I'm gonna lap. <laughs> it's a big visual change, you know. I got it. Good. But if we got one that's only even half the width, we are sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normal size. <laughs> Usable size. Yeah. Okay, let's pass them off another bark piece. Well, that's a great idea. That's... Oh. Barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got it. I got it. Of time to that one came out. How about that piece? Here we go. This one's yeah, okay. That, width, that whole pile's got some good width. So actually, so does the bottom into this pile. This one's got a bit of a split, but this split is, see it? Yeah, yeah well, this, big this one's bigger well, down guess, here. I guess it doesn't hurt. Nope. All right, we'll take it, Ted. Maybe pull the ear wigs underneath, such an overhang. Oh, pretty wet. Soggy one. Did you bring me They're yeah. actually holding the water. I don't know. I would save that one for this one. Ted's got a nice one. Okay. It's a little bit dry, so I'll pass you the splatter. Pushing them for the other side. Yeah, we're gonna work our way back now. All right. So big barks. <laughs> Do we have Jim? You want to cut? How we first square there? Tip Teddy. off this one. Uh, come, come this way. Mm, no. From the gable, you sure? Yeah. You know, it looks it looks all right. Like, it looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're kind of running out of good pieces of bark here. I'm not gonna lie. Go on, Kelly. Go on. Yeah. I'll just grab some good ones. Then. <laughs> yeah. It's actually yeah. These ones weren't even getting too dry. They're getting too raw today. Mm -hmm. Like this one's got like in. A gaggle of ants on it. Yeah, oh, the whole thing is, look at the mold on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, goodness. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Ooh, that's just slimy. Yeah. yeah, that wouldn't have been good in three weeks for sure. This is no. a rotten piece. How much, how is it possible for anyone to harvest enough bark to get, you know? I think your answer is right, is that they're falling like forests, primordial forests sometimes probably for, for aggro. And bird. so they just automatically had a ton of bark, right? Yeah. Can you uh, move mine before you slide down? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Done that a couple times, but not every time. I'm not gonna look. Grabbing another piece. So the small pieces are gonna end up actually as the bottom pieces. Yeah. Did you quit working when I left? Well, Once Finnegan was gone, we were screwed. No, we went and harvested bark for the rest of the day. Yeah. We thought that was priority. Yeah. We what? The other ones don't need to be so long, like for the overlap. It could be a little bit shorter, right? For the, uh, the cat. But I don't think they should be much shorter. Really? Yeah. The only problem is that we're going to do what we said. But Fill that gap in the rig though. More bark, Jim! <laughs> oh, sorry, Doug. Just get it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Starting to get kind of. What's with this? There's a long, uh, <laughs> narrow one here, but. Alright, so this is the office this here. That one. Which is only a little bit. This one's pretty wide. <laughs> they don't want to work with me. Yep. And, uh, I'll stay right here. 
There's a, there's a longer. Let me give you the long one. Might as well try it. Too skinny. Yeah. Too skinny. Well, well, you want me to get a shot for that? you know? over here? Wait, wait. What's that? You want me to get a, move your camera for you? That's mine there, right? You yeah, want just right. this one then? It's like yeah. pretty wide. That's the thing. That's all right. You've got a big split. Are you rolling or no? This doesn't work. No. It's really split at the other end. It's kind of shitty. But I, I can cut that off. Of course, it's not really protecting anything here either, see? Because uh -huh. they're inside the building. Yeah. And we'll shingle over. That's what I'm concerned about with the quantity of bark then. Okay. I don't, I don't then, see why we need to go full length. Hey. Like, really? Hey. Hey. Well, it's going to fill with snow. No question. You don't yeah, think if we go this way, we're going to... But, like, you don't think there's enough strength with this, like, stringer, the ridge beam, and the next stringer within... Hand it to me, hand it to me. I'm talking, oh, to, I'm talking about the, the gap. Yeah. For the, for the fire. Oh. Smoke hole. Yeah, like, why do we need that much overlap? We don't. That's what he wants. Well, I know, but what are you going to cut off? Two feet? Now what do you do with that? That would be the bottom of our... Our walls on the edge. I think you could get two pieces out of that. I think as long as you go, man, as long as you go to, well, let's start with a piece that's already messed and see what happens. So like, if this is nailed, if you go to this stringer, if I nail overlap that on there, and overlap and I this nail stringer. That on here. See how flat you are. We need that piece we we're talking about on the ridge. This four inches above the pole. Like if it's supported on on here, the ridge and there. I mean, it's not touching the, the ridge the now, but wood. It's literally flat. Well, then we need uh, whatever we do has to go on top of these. Yeah. Hmm. Like, that's that's an option. Like a substantial. Yeah. Like a full log almost. You got anything here? That's what I'm trying to think. Don't. Can we end up with some extra poles? We have some extra poles. We here, had some broken short poles, right? Well, the ones that are in the up here is cross Doug, that's, that's, that's making me a little we'll nervous. Too, right? Doug, it's making me a little, little nervous. That string you're sitting on. Don't be afraid. I don't know. This 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 piece was really bone dry. Remember? Yeah, but there's one beside it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. It'll be all right. Crazy paper. Look at that bone. Man, this balsam just smells so good, though. You need. Can you put one? Just, oh, just shoot, a pinch. You need about five yeah, inches. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's got it. I do contend though, when that bark is dry, I bet you can walk on it. Mm. Say hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. <laughs> Doug loves being up on the roof. I'm kind of jealous I want to be there, but he just likes all the glory. Too big. That's all right. Apparently, I'm too big. And he says he's old, but you could I couldn't tell because, you know, my back hurts and he's running around there like a red squirrel up there. Can you come around? Yeah. This is so rotten. These nails. I'm not proud of it. Doing it. No. Okay. <laughs> This is pretty cool though. Okay, Sean? Yeah. If we got that part even done, that'd be that's gonna look awesome. Oh, 
before it just gets mildewed so it smells like a moldy washcloth. <laughs> well, we got the bark covering the roof, which is the most important part before it dried out. Uh, we got a heavy rain today and it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because it soaked the bark and we were able to uh, flex it because it had dried out since we were here last. And it's a huge job getting this bark, but we're pretty happy with what we do have done. And I mean, if you just went in the middle, you could sleep right now. So uh, pretty, pretty awesome to see it getting covered and see it coming together. But yeah, I'm excited about it. like underwater cameras and just these bass that he catched and named and he's just like such an animated dude but, but but he's like yeah, just come uh just a, he just basically lived in like a Delicious. cabin or a cottage yeah. are you are you in allowed to just do that no now no. no not anymore right no divert the creeks and stuff yeah like, that? like no. little, little no. dams and stuff you can't put trout in them either you like hot sauce? yeah mm -hmm. super hot you like spicy foods? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Pineapple jerk sauce. So I just bought regular jerk sauce and I just squeezed the pineapple in and blended it all together. And sandwich. They layered those jalapenos on top of each other. Yeah. Like I've never, I had to open that thing up, scrape them all off, and I was. We should go back to Terry's. Me and Joy got married. That's Jamaican dishes, man, like ackee and saltfish, and I don't know, all kinds of stuff like that. that living in Newmarket, and then we went to a bar, and I'm like, oh, you know, this guy's got a French word for poaching poison in the Caribbean. Are these dark darks, or are you like, oh my god? I don't remember what I thought it'd be hunted with. A gun or a spear. Well, my chance is on surviving. Like, it took this guy, like, years. I've never, uh, I don't have a fryer. I don't do I've only done it once, but my buddy caught like a little like a little case, kind of like French fries. <laughs> you get the cheese curds and they just melt, and it's so good. It doesn't really matter. Really? No. Yeah. And it was Uncle Steve two years ago. Yeah, sure. Jim's camera. So that was. Was that video? No, it was a, it was a photo, and then I moved it.
That was a quick little cup you had there. I, you went to bed right at the same time. Yeah. This thing is so cool, eh? It is. At there, at that store? Yeah. His video that he did years ago has got a lot of views on it. Yes, just because of Facebook. It was similar stuff in a similar area. The Skokie type stuff. Uh, there's four eggs there if anybody wants to. Everybody loves impersonators. Yeah, Nippy doesn't have that excuse anymore. This is really nice here. Here's a thin one if you want to fill that small gap. <laughs> I think we should use this for up there. Yeah. You know? It's going to be like this. Barely. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not long enough? Because it needs to tuck under that other stringer. Right. Yeah, it's almost under it right now. See? Not under the string. No, it's, it's almost under, but I'm going to have to get up there to do it. Eh? Yeah. Really Communicate. Alright. Uh, we're going to have to overlap it a bit, don't we? Yep. How's that? It does, it's like it could punch out a little this way. The whole, move thing, the whole thing over you? No, I mean, just like, it, it's not really bowed, but it's good. Push it up further, Jim. There we go. <sighs> no, it's... Bella's destroyed uh, Callie's toy. Is there a lot there? Yeah. You don't know somewhere. It is. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, you know what? Down here. Sure. Way down here. Wood ladder, what? That wood ladder would be nice to lean against there. For weight? I don't know if it's tall enough to hit no, that. I don't remember. You can just cut. Well, are we going to save it for something? Well, you can cut. Well, let's get it measured. Is that enough? Yeah. Or a lot or too much? That's good. Not too much on my side. It's definitely not for height. You could probably come up with a couple more inches. Even. Well, a couple more inches. There we go. Are you good there? Yeah. Like this one? <laughs> yeah. Can you reach that head? This horizontally or vertically up here because we're gonna have to slide a piece and catch this horizontal. Oh, okay. How's that? You no, know, you don't have to go up anymore. Okay. Right here, you got a bunch of shingles here. Here. Oh, yeah. I don't want to see that. 
But let's get a sliver on the end here. Yeah. What do we got for pieces left? What's the sliver by the fire pit there? This under? No, I can't. Here we go. Okay. Here, Doug. I got it. You can stick that up underneath there. One okay. What do you guys think about rolling on this man Burke? Yeah, exactly. What we learned basically. You know? Okay, yep. Yeah. Who's um, that? I don't want. How's this? Let's finish this split. Yeah. How's this? How's this? Sure. It's like right, you see where, can you see me pushing? Wow. Uh, you want to come down like, I think three, four inches, three inches. You know, just this bark is going to add some structural support too. You see my figure? Yeah. Which side or back? Uh, to your left, if you're facing the longhouse. Well, I shouldn't start doing something else, did you? Not consistent with the rest of it. All right, yeah. I'm going to merely an observer. You got it. It's holding. Nice. Like a bunyel. Singe the hair off first? No. no. Maybe I'll get rid of Kelly, we oh. said throw a log on the fire, not a dog on the fire. <laughs> that's that's making it in. The, the like, just not impressed. <laughs> Head shake. <laughs> Again. Callie's ready to be eaten. Cooked up. I'm gonna cook you up. I'm gonna cook you up. If I had thought of that, I would have kept it in my mouth. Good girl. Wow. Yeah. Good girl. Are we losing momentum? I was just gonna say, it's been fun. Cali's yeah. distracting. Here's a like sort of like thing we could use as a wrap up or Yeah, I'm good with that. The long knives and you think something's Yeah, because he still enjoys it, right? Yeah.
water over there. Bella. Bella. Like imagine if I tried to carve one of those. Yeah. Well, we're going to wrap today up. This is our third weekend here at the uh, Longhouse, working away at it. Um, you'll notice that most of it's still unfinished behind us here. The bark ran out. We got that side done, we got the roof done, so it's actually a shelter. And for, unfortunately, it's probably gonna stay this way all winter. We can actually sleep in it, and we're still gonna come back next time and build our bunks yeah. and do that and probably have an overnighter in the next video, Longhouse video. Yeah, might be a little drafty, but uh, <laughs> a little drafty, but keep us dry. Well, we're used to sleeping under tarps and stuff anyway. Yeah. So yeah. I'm satisfied. Um, there's probably still enough ash trees around the property here that we can harvest once the sap starts running again next June or July. So mm -hmm. it's going to stay like this for the winter. We're still going to do stuff in it. Mm -hmm. I'm satisfied, like I said. We got as far as we could with the resources that we had, and we had no idea how long and how much bark it was going to mm -hmm. take. And just the challenges with the season, too, the bark, you can't really get it off of the trees at this time of year. So uh, we don't really have much of a choice but to kind of leave it until we can actually peel bark again, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think we've done pretty good. Part of this is yeah. a learning experience for us, and we didn't know how far we'd get or what materials you have, and you kind of um, learn along the way. And we've learned a lot, and we've gotten better at it, and yeah. I'm pretty impressed. And this thing will keep the rain off of us, so I'm looking forward to yeah. building our bunks and and spending a night in here, even though it's not fully enclosed. Yeah. It's a it's an awesome shelter, and the scale of this thing is maybe hard to tell but this is a huge structure and this is a big job so yeah i think we're all feeling pretty good about it looks ourselves. really cool like the roof and the way that the bark fit over it and just the, just how it looks is i'm pretty happy with what we managed to get done no we done good we did yeah. what we could and uh it looks great it's so hard to get a perspective of how much bark is actually on that already yeah. like uh, just by putting the top on it it really gave you that that ceiling that you didn't have like before it was looking to the clouds and then it's like no it's a it's a tall big structure mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah it sure is and the amount of trees that we went through just a reminder that the ash trees that we got this bark from were di dying or dead anyway or just about dead and the rest of the ash trees on my land here are just about to die as well so ho hopefully they're not at that point, I don't think, where they're not going to try to leaf out next year. So that we'll get that sap running and get that bark off them before they, they perish completely. So mm -hmm. I think we have enough trees, but they were going to die anyway. I've got all these logs, or we have all these logs. If I can get somebody to help me pull them up here or to a spot where we can use them for something. It, incredible lumber, like beautiful straight long logs some of those in huge diameter like two mm -hmm. feet some of them mm -hmm. so it kind of maybe even it. make some crafts like doug had yeah. taught us about pounding the ash and that was pretty cool you know if if it stays green enough it really brings it into perspective how much work it is to build one of these imagine a 300 foot long one yeah or more how much bark you need how much materials it's not just the building it's a sourcing of all the natural materials right mm -hmm. and learning how to work with them it's actually I kind of learned a lot more than I thought it was going to from the project, which has been pretty cool. Oh, and to say right off too, to do it again, bark comes off the tree, yeah, right. straight on the longhouse. Yeah, yeah. No, no laying it, no nothing, just off the tree, on the longhouse. If we had taken a week off, all of us, yeah. five days maybe, well, probably a week is the first day, first weekend we worked a good solid two days. But I would say five, six, seven days straight, we would have had this thing knocked off. and. Yeah. Yeah in better condition than it is and with easier bark to work with and yeah. flatter yep. and smoother yeah more pliable i think a, a good lesson too is is that this type of project was done as a community and a lot of what we do now is so individual everybody came together in these communities and and did it as a group and that's why they were so successful at what they did because they all worked together 
mm -hmm. and um, you know this is an excellent example of that uh, if you tried to do this by yourself it you know it almost it pretty much impossible reach. yeah probably yeah. yeah well awesome guys I'm looking forward to the next steps of this thing yeah. I've got a few ideas on uh, the bunk and some of the things that I want to build in there so so that's so make sure you tune into the next episode of this mm -hmm. maybe hopefully it's September October the latest probably the uh, we're going to individualize our bunks inside so we're each doing our own space our own private family space essentially in each of our areas and we're going to customize those personally so i'm looking forward to seeing what every, all these guys have what the ideas they have for their own and and coming up with some unique ideas for my own space in here mm -hmm. doug's going to probably carve gnomes at the top of each one of his <laughs> bed posts and outdo us he's going, to, he's going to curve each of us Maybe, i'm probably going to buy a prefab kit for, for my sure. kia <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I'll probably use smaller trees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy about this, man. This looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, see everybody um, back here at the cabin for my uh, uh, continuation of what I normally do here. But again, keep an eye out for Longhouse episode four, I guess it'll be. And we have a pretty cool, epic uh, meal plan for that one as well. So, tune into that. There's a playlist if you want to watch the whole Longhouse series. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you back at the cabin next time. Follow Jim Baird Adventure on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> High five. All right. All right. No, no. You leave me hanging. Oh, <laughs> didn't, didn't there you go. The whole thing, the whole thing was uncomfortable yeah. from the beginning. Yeah, as soon as you said high five, like oh, high five. Yeah, yeah. Transfers on the camera. Five. Like when do you ever get in a conversation <laughs> like this? You know what I mean? In a yeah. lot, right? Yeah. But, it transfers on the camera. Yeah. Know what I mean? It would have been funny if you guys just didn't high five me yeah. after. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>